Hi everybody, my name is Adam Stevenson and today I'm coming to you from uh, Made in Denmark, a uh, European tour event here in Denmark. Fantastic event. We have some of the uh, best European tour players here visiting us this uh, this week and uh, I'm out of the pra practice facility where there's been a few of them warming up here. One of the things that I noticed that they're really good at doing uh, in their golf swing that maybe a lot of you at home are struggling with is maintaining balance and what they're really good at is, is the correlation of how their balance is immaculate, how good they're able to maintain balance in their golf swing, but also just in general. And that's a quality that I think a lot of uh, us at home are really struggling with. So what I'd like for you to do is to test yourself. I'd like for you to stand on one leg and uh, just raise the opposite leg up. And once you feel really comfortable, make sure there's nothing around you so that you're not going to fall over and, and hit your head on something. Um, but I want you to try and stand here. And once you feel comfortable, I want you to try and challenge yourself and close your eyes. And then just try and count for how long you can stay there with your eyes closed with one leg raised up. I'll tell you, the European tour players here, they're really good. They're approximately 20 seconds on each leg. So that's a really, really challenging exercise I'd like for you to try at home. And if you find that there is some asymmetries, maybe one side you're better at balancing than the other, that's quite common. But if you find that there's some asymmetries or if you're really poor at balance and you find that you lose your balance within five seconds, then you're going to need to work on that. And regaining balance is actually not that difficult if you know how to work on it. So I'm going to give you some exercises at home that can help you to uh, sort of retrain your balance so that in, in a few weeks you'll feel really like you have control over your balance. And that's going to help you out in your golf game. It's also going to help you in your life. So let's get started. All right, so the first exercise I have for you today to try and regain your balance is to actually try and challenge yourself. And it's a good warm up exercise when you're off on the driving range to hit some balls or if you're heading off for a round of golf. This is really going to get your muscles firing so that you're able to utilize and stabilize your muscles properly so you're able to regain good balance. Uh, so the first one is I've got, as you can see here, I've got my knapsack. I've put it down on the ground. And it could be anything you really want, a bucket of balls, something that you're going to try and use uh, as sort of a, a guideline. So what I want you to do with the first exercise is to actually take, um, I want you to do a single leg uh, where you're actually bowing forward. And as your upper body is going forward, your, your opposite leg is being kicked out behind you, straight, straight behind you. And I want you to try and feel as though when you're doing this that your pelvis is really stable. It's not turning and twisting all over the place, but it's really stable and really flat. So you're maintaining a stable pelvis and coming forward with your upper body and reach out with this arm. The same arm that your leg is being kicked out behind you, I want you to reach out and try and warm up by doing five of those on each leg. And then I want to challenge you on a different level. I want you to do the same exercise, but this time I want you to try and reach across to the opposite side of this knapsack that I have here. So you're actually challenging yourself on a different level. And every time you're coming up from this challenge here, I want you to try and you know, really work your, your, your hips to maybe move forward. I want this, this glute muscle here to be really active and really pushing forward so you actually feel it. So it's the muscle that's firing to get you up out of this position. I'm going to show you from this angle as well. So and then when I'm coming forward, bang, OK? Triple extension. I want you to try and really feel as though your hips are being thrust forward here. And uh, that's th the first exercise. The second exercise I have for you, sort of a side lunge. But I want you to do the side lunge where you're actually trying to maintain balance at the top of it. So you're standing here on one leg. And as you come down into this side lunge, I want you to really sit down with your hip into your hip here and then push back up again. And really try and stabilize. You can see how challenging it is for you. And uh, again, down again. Try and do eight to each side. OK, so the whole idea, objective of this exercise is to both come down to the side lunge. But when you're coming back up again, it's the stability. It's the working on the balance here, trying to engage the muscles to stabilize you. So you're able to stand and maintain your balance. That's really challenging for you. So I really hope these two exercises can help you uh, regain some good quality balance and proprioception so that you're able to hit the ball a little bit more solidly and uh, maybe someday as good as these guys out here on the range. Once again, my name's Adam Stevenson. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Best of luck out there. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.